This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with a geometry problem involving circles. So let's take a look at a couple of circles and use them as tools to solve this problem. So we have one big circle and one small circle. And in the case of the first circle, we're told that the radius which we'll represent here with this line, is equal to, let's call this radius of circle O, put an O there, is equal to four times the diameter of circle P. So let's draw the diameter on circle P. Right, so that's radius of O and diameter of P. And we know radius of O is four times the size of the diameter of P. So now we have an interesting situation here. It's, this problem is going to get fairly complicated unless we're willing to pick numbers and try plugging in. And if we do that, it's going to remain fairly simple. So I'm going to pick numbers and use that as a tool. And I'm going to start out with, um, let's pick a number for the radius of O. And I'm going to pick something that's a multiple of 4 to make my, my life easy. Let's say that we pick 16 as the radius of, of O. What will that mean the diameter is of circle P? That'll mean the diameter of circle P is 4. And what have they asked us? They asked us, what is the ratio of the radius of circle O to the radius of circle P? So we want radius of O, they want it in ratio form, to the radius of P. And I'm going to write that as a fraction. Now, we already have the radius of O. That's 16. And we have a number for the diameter of P, which is 4. But we really want the radius, so we need to make that a 2, because the diameter equals 2R. So diameter P is 2 times the radius of P. The diameter is 4 rp is equal to 2. So we know the ratio of O to P is 16 to 2. And that fraction can be simplified to 8 over 1, which could be converted back into ratio format of 8 to 1. And that'll be the answer, which is B.